Hello guys, welcome to another video. Uh, before we get into the video, I've got two things I quickly want to talk about. The first thing is I'm running a sale on the Phoenix Fitness t-shirts. Um, the way that the sale is going to run is for every degree temperature that the UK hits for the next 14 days is the percentage off that I'm going to offer. So, for example, yesterday was 27 degrees, therefore the t-shirts were 27% off, making them £10.95. Um, so that's going to be running for the next 14 days. If you want to get your hands on one, head over to my Instagram and DM me. So at the moment, um, I don't know what the temperature is, but I'm going to wait till midday and whatever the temperature is then is the percentage that will be off the t-shirts for today. The second thing is injury update, or I should say injuries, because it is more than one. Um, the main one at the moment, obviously my lower back, that has seemed to have pretty much disappeared. Um, there's slight discomfort when I wake up, it's a little bit stiff in the mornings, but at the moment my biggest concern is my upper back. Uh, so on Thursday I front squatted, went way too heavy, proper ego lift session, um, got a new PR but it wasn't worth it because I injured or slightly strained my upper back. Um, and although it's not really painful, it's just very, very stiff and very rigid in a, sp in a specific area. It's sort of like lower trap slash rhomboid area. Um, any sort of rotation flexion does cause discomfort. So I am going to go and train today. I'm going to go and squat and we'll just sort of see how we get on with it. I think once I start loosening up, it should be fine. Um, I don't really count it as a proper injury. Um, because it's one of those where you know it's probably going to clear up in a few days time but it is just yet again another setback. So getting into the video I'm going to do a full day of eating today and I'm going to try and keep it clean because as you guys know the most consistent thing I like to do is cheat on my diet. Um, I'm not going to order any food out, I'm going to cook all the food myself which may sound ridiculous and it may sound like that's easy but for me that genuinely is a little bit of a challenge because I'm always ordering food. So I'm going to stick with 2,500 calories I think because that is a deficit for me. I'm going to aim for the higher end of protein so like 200 grams and then whatever the uh, other macros fall into. Um, so I'm going to start with eggs and whatever's in my fridge so let's go. <laughs> Okay, so for breakfast, like I say, I want to be on the higher end of protein, so I'm going to have five eggs, um, some porridge oats or oatmeal, and with that I'm going to have some almond butter and some flaxseed chia seed mix, um, just for the extra fat, and I may put some sugar-free pancake syrup on that, um, and just because I want to be super healthy today, um, I'm going to be really grim and have a vegetable smoothie. Breakfast is served. Ugh. Breakfast done. Don't forget the vegetable smoothie. Spinach. Parley and sweet cherries. That'd be enough. Time to blitz. Ah! 
If you're wondering why we've got cat food, yes, they're for the adopted cat. No, it's still not our cat. But yes, we're buying it food now. Bon appétit. Tell you what, that's good. That's actually not that bad. Spinach, kale, cherries. Nutrients. Okay, so here are the macros and the calories for breakfast. Um, I'm just going to the post office because I uh, need to send off the t-shirt for those of you who have already started using the discount, so thank you for that. Um, yeah, I'm also going to go and pick up a package um, from a different post office, which is a little bit annoying. Um, yeah, I'll show you that when I get home. Right, so I'm back from the post office. Fuck me, it is hot outside today. 29 degrees, not good. Right, so I've been to obviously drop off um, the Phoenix Fitness t-shirts for all of you who have um, bought them already in the summer sale. Um, I also picked up the package which uh, I had bought off of Masthetics. So I've got myself the Legion Iron T. Officially a member of Legion Iron. These are the limited edition ones and I am number 350. So I'm going to be wearing this in the gym today. Just preparing my pre-workout now before I go to the gym. I don't think there is a better sound than putting ice into warm water. That wasn't as good as I thought it would be, but that is a really nice sound and it means a delicious pre-workout, icy pre-workout more specifically, is on the way. I've broken it. There we go! Let's give this a cheeky little blast and shall we? Refreshing. Right, let's go and squat. I don't know why I'm choosing to wear leggings in this heat, but there we are.
Craig's going for a 180 kilo squat. And I've kindly offered to spot him. That's the one, yeah. Yes. Right, so finished squats, 200 felt, really good. I had to stop myself from going heavier because uh, it was just feeling so good. I even said to Chris, can I go heavier? I put it on the bar even, uh, and he said, no, just stick to 200. So that was a true RP8, any heavier, and it would have been higher than that. So it uh, felt really good, and the back down sets felt really good as well. Um, back is holding up as well, there's no pain in my upper or lower back, so that's always good. Um, bench worked up to 132.5 kilos, which is the, is the heaviest I've done for a while. That moved really well as well, so overall, it's feeling really good. What was that, Craig? Fake weights. Fake weights? <laughs> Calling me out. The Brad Castlebury of Horfield. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, back from the gym. My next meal is going to be a protein shake. Um, this is just easy calories, easy protein. It's 50 grams of protein and 20 grams of carbs, which is 295 calories. So I'm just going to smash that, go and have a shower, and then I'm going to go to the pub. And I know earlier in the video I said I wasn't going to get any takeaway food, um, but all my family, or a lot of my family, are going to the pub for like a pub meal tonight, and they've invited me out to that. Um, so I'm going to go and I'm going to have sort of a healthy option, I'm going to try and get like a Caesar salad or something like that. So I'm going to have to guess the calories, um, but yeah, just because I said I'm dieting doesn't mean I'm going to miss out on family events. So I'm going to have a shower and then I'll see you at the pub. Oh, so you can read it? Keeping it clean on the Diet Coke. What am I seeing you wearing? <laughs> I see you shining. Yeah. New? Where did you get them? Uh, nice. Go oh, the big air in the glass and the dynamite. Yeah. God, idiot. Ew. What was that? What, why was that played? Because I just, I was an idiot in the gym and I went heavier than I should have done. Idiot. And I hurt myself. You didn't be moaned about it. Don't be an idiot, Will. <laughs> right, we've got a tuna steak here with an egg and a little bit of salad. Let's get into it. I will. Right, so that was a tuna steak on a salad. So relatively calorie, well, not calorie free. What am I talking about? Low calorie. Um, so I have got about 500 calories left. Uh, so just gonna go and meet up with Sam for a little bit because he has moved house. So I'm just gonna go see his new house. And then I'll catch you at the next meal. So I decided I'm going to have my last meal at Sam's house. It's just a microwaveable chicken tikka masala. It's 600 calories, which pretty much puts my calories bang on for the day. So here are the calories and macros for the day. Um, yeah, let's eat. And I was very tempted to, <laughs> to get a beer, but I didn't. I got myself a calorie-free Pepsi. Play the bowl, what do you prefer? Uh, let's go plate. Please. Yeah. I don't have to worry about that. A Western Superman. Ah, uh, yeah, you told me. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to go from Denmark. Denmark? Belgium. Belgium, yeah. That's what I'm About 100 pounds, mate. Let's get a little closer. So how is it then? Is that is it sweep steak? Mm. How much you put in? Fibre? Probably has got Brazil next. Mm. As if they beat Brazil, they'd probably want it, wouldn't they? You know, no one's going to be better than them. Well, fine. Then look at your sweet steak against mine. But mine's for a bottle of Prosecco, which I don't a really care for. A cheap bottle of Prosecco, yeah. and mine's for 100 quid. Mm. I wonder how much money winning the World Cup brings a country in, if it works like that. Yeah, I don't know. I know the England team, they give their fees, their match fees to charity. Oh, do they? Yeah. Not the players do? Yeah. 
I don't think other countries do. I mean, it's <coughs> just the FA, like, all like, it's like an incentive thing, isn't it? They give it back to the community almost. Oh, they give it to like football charities and stuff. Do you think what a boxer earns, or what a Formula One driver earns, or what a hedge fund manager earns? They really earn their money, don't they, all boxers? Yeah. When they're good. There's not as many high earning boxers, though. No. How much reckon Joshua earned last year? So they quite that back to a weekly wage. Did he probably earn what, 30 million last year or something? Mm. More than that? Yeah. But that's just for the fight fee, right? You don't look at the sponsorships yeah, and yeah. stuff. He's probably got his own businesses, investing oh, yeah. his own money. Like, yeah. He still lives at home with his mum. Yeah. So, yeah, like all a flat. must be going back into, uh, mm. into things. Mm. That was so rich, but. It's got a kid as well, haven't it? Mm -hmm. But no one ever really talks about that. No. It spoils the image a bit, doesn't it? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave this one here. Mm. Hmm. Alright? Yeah. Felt a bit weird, though. I was just like the only one eating. Uh, it's, bit, it's a bit of an awkward, isn't it? And yeah. You've nailed that as well. Yeah. All um, my calories for the day. Breathe. Okay guys, so I'm back home from Sam's. Um, it's pretty late, it's 10.30 now, so I'm gonna be heading off to bed. Um, finished on that, in terms of calories and macros for the day, so I am in a deficit. Obviously I said I wasn't gonna eat out, but I feel like I made a fairly healthy choice by getting a tuna steak uh, with a salad. Um, so yeah, it's been a good day with what I've been eating, a good day's training as well. Um, but I'm going to wrap up the video here and go to bed. Um, before I go though, I quickly want to do a little bit of an experiment because I am intrigued by how many people actually watch the full video or the full videos that I put out. So I'm going to do a sort of giveaway with uh, a Phoenix Fitness t-shirt, whatever that's worth to you. Um, so if you comment down Team Phoenix, just that, that, those two words, Team Phoenix, in the comments down below. Um, one week from now, depending on how many people have done this, I will be giving out two free t-shirts, the grey and the black t-shirt, just because I want to know who actually watches the entire video. So if you do watch all these videos and you're watching this now, be sure to comment Team Phoenix and I will send you, or I'll put you in the hat to get a free t-shirt. So um, yeah, that's that. Get commenting and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.